Hong Kong leader John Lee Kochu on Monday, said he was seriously concerned by instability caused by the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and appealed to city residents in the region to contact the government or the Chinese embassy in Israel if they needed help. We are highly concerned about the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and we believe it is also a matter of global concern, Lee said. If Hong Kongers in Israel require any assistance from the government, we will do everything possible and provide all available assistance. If anyone needs help, please reach out to us or the Chinese embassy in Israel. He also told Hong Kongers in the Flashpoint region to be aware of their surroundings and avoid potentially dangerous areas. Lee said that he would monitor developments and keep in contact with the Chinese embassy in Israel and Israel's consulate in Hong Kong. The chief executive led a delegation to the Middle East in February to boost business links and champion the creation of a free trade agreement with the United Arab Emirates. Lee said on Monday that instability in the region or any other part of the world would affect the business environment and risk element for investors. That's why I have always emphasized that Hong Kong needs a safe and stable social environment to ensure a solid foundation for our development so that we can seize different business opportunities. He said, safety and stability are crucial for development. Some Hong Kong residents have opted to return to the city but others decided to remain in the country since Palestinian militant group Hamas launched a surprise attack on Israel on October 7. Jewish and Muslim communities in Hong Kong have had held separate prayer and fundraising drives. Hong Kong Muslim groups also registered a strong protest with the Israeli Consulate General. The Israeli diplomatic mission in the city condemned bloodthirsty terrorists who had killed civilians indiscriminately. At least 2,670 Palestinians have been killed in Gaza and 9. 600 injured since the start of the crisis, the Palestinian Health Ministry has said. The Israeli Defense Forces said on Sunday at least 1,300 Israelis had been killed in Hamas's attack on the country including 286 soldiers.